going to breakfast in my pajamas. I, I kind of thought we were going to be on the same page about the pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> Passenger brought us these like felt coloring pages. So we're just sitting here in between flights, just coloring. They're so cute though. Okay, so it is about 11 p.m. We just got to the hotel. I went ahead and got ready for bed and everything. So I'll just show you the hotel room really quick and then going straight to sleep. Kind of have a full mini kitchen over here, which I love. We got a fridge and a microwave. A really big room too. We've got two beds and then the bathroom is over here. Shower is nicer than I remember. I feel like they upgraded some things in this hotel since the last time that I've been here, but it has been a really long time since I've been here. Our van time tomorrow is at, I think 9.30. So our layover is super short. We were supposed to be here like a few hours ago though, but tomorrow is go home day. Just one leg home tomorrow. So hopefully no delays. I'm so excited to go to bed. Okay, Sydney just came in my room and she was like, do you wear contacts? And I was like, no, I've never worn contacts before. And, and she was she like, what them. are those? And I like poked them and I was like, those are contacts. So somebody's old contacts are just sitting here next to my bed. And then Sydney was like, why did you just touch those? And I, I don't have an answer, but I do need to go wash my hands now. I don't have an answer. <laughs> We've got a pretty view out there today. I wish this building wasn't in my way though. I am so excited for us to use our coloring pages again. <laughs> these are so fun. I think we found a new hobby. This passenger just brought us these and all these markers. And we had so much fun at coloring these yesterday. I was wondering where mine went. I thought I had lost mine. <laughs> I was going through my bag and I was like, this is going to be so mad when I lost it. Oh no, I've literally been carrying this gift bag around for three days just to keep everything from that passenger all together. Good morning, y'all. It is the next, next day. I didn't vlog at all yesterday. I was planning on vlogging yesterday and then I just was not in a good mood. I was just having a bad day all day yesterday. I just woke up crabby and at some point I was just like, what is wrong with me? And I think it's just because I spent three straight days not even seeing the light of day. I hate trips like that where you're just on the plane, just working in the airport. You can't even go outside all day for three days straight. Like that can't be healthy. I have another three day trip tomorrow and I'm really glad that it doesn't start until like 4 p.m. I did heatless curls last night and I put way too much oil on my hair before I curled them. They look okay, they're just a little, a little oily, a little shiny. But anyway, I just got ready for the day and I'm gonna go run some errands in a little bit. I'm gonna go get some groceries. I'm gonna meal prep for my trip tomorrow. That is one thing that really helps a lot when I'm working is bringing my own food, even though it's such a hassle. And I can't always do it, but whenever I do bring my food, and I'm not eating airplane food and airport food for a whole three days, I do feel so much better. And another thing that really helps with just feeling healthier while I'm traveling is AG1. I've been taking this for probably like a month now. So I have this container that I keep at home in my fridge. And then they also have these little travel packs. The main thing for me when I'm traveling is bloating. Like I work one flight and I feel like Mrs. Puff from SpongeBob. So AG1 really helps with bloating, digestion. And another big thing for me is my immune health. Traveling all the time, it really messes with you and messes with your immune system. So AG1 also really helps with supporting your immune system. This has 75 vitamins, minerals, and a probiotic and prebiotic. I rarely get vitamins, minerals, nutrients from food when I'm traveling because a lot of times I am eating at the airport and on the airplane. So this is really helpful with just making sure that I'm getting good nutrients in my body that I'm not getting from food while I'm working. And they also have this little dropper bottle of vitamin D3 and K2. And this is gonna help with circulation, your immune system. And again, it is super concentrated. You only need the tiniest bit of this. There's 600 servings in this little bottle. But they say that the best way to take this is in the morning on an empty stomach and that's where you'll see the most benefits and people who take this in the morning say that you don't get the crash that coffee gives you but I will say I haven't been taking it that way I have been taking this more of like an afternoon drink and I still have been seeing a lot of the benefits also I'm so surprised at how good this stuff tastes I normally don't gravitate towards things 
this color, <laughs> like this green, but it actually tastes really, really good. It tastes like it has some apple, pineapple flavor in there. The biggest thing for me when I'm traveling is bloating. So this has really helped with bloating, digestion, overall gut health. It can also help with your hair, skin, and nails, stress, focus, mental clarity. And AG1 has done tons of studies and research so that they have the best formula and the best ingredients that are going to absorb well into your body. So if you wanna check out AG1, you can click the link in the description box or or scan the QR code on the screen and you can get a year supply of the vitamin D3 and K2 as well as five of the travel packs. So I'm actually going to take this with me while I'm running my errands. I'm making a recipe that I saw on TikTok so I'm watching the TikTok before I go in there to make sure I have everything that I need for this recipe and it's a crock pot recipe so as soon as I get home I need to start on it. All right so this is the meal prep that we're doing. I'm going to throw this chicken in the crock pot with some onion and this soyaki sauce from Trader Joe's. I'll link the recipe video below if you wanna see the whole thing. Also, I told myself that I wasn't gonna get anything sweet today at Trader Joe's, but I saw this new ice cream, this new flavor, Dolce de Leche, and I could not resist. This is how our chicken is looking. It smells absolutely amazing. I think it's gonna be really good. I'm just gonna shred this up with my hand mixer. This is one of the best things that I've learned on TikTok is to use this to shred up your chicken. <laughs> And I'm also going to make another one of my favorite recipes that is super easy to travel with in meal prep. And it is the Borzen and Orzo spinach, sun-dried tomatoes, pasta bake. And I always like to use the spicy sausage from Trader Joe's. But I'm trying another sausage in this recipe, also from Trader Joe's. So I'm going to cut this up and throw that in there instead of cooking up the spicy sausage. <music> So here is what it looks like and oh gosh, almost spilled. I'm gonna throw it in the oven for about an hour. This is what the chicken and rice meal prep looks like. I think it looks really good. I'm just going back to the recipe because she made like a peanut sauce to go on top. Okay, there's actually a lot of things in this peanut sauce. Just eyeball on this. Some honey, little sriracha and some garlic. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this sauce. That's a lot of smells, a lot of flavors going on. Mm -mm. For this sauce, I just did the peanut butter, honey, and coconut aminos. That's actually really good. My sauce is a 10 out of 10. I can't even try the other one. Okay, so it is 2.16 p.m. now. I'm getting ready for my trip. Probably gonna leave in about an hour. Still need to pack today. All I did last night pretty much was just self-tan and rot, watching TikToks and stuff. My favorite self-tanner ever is still Loving Tan 2 Hour Express in dark. And the best self-tan hack that I have is when you wash it off the next day, if you sleep with it on and then wash it off the next day, if you use a self-tan like lotion, it just kind of locks in the tan and makes it last so much longer. Longer. So this is the one that I've been using. It's Isle of Paradise self-tanning butter. So, so good. We have a 15 hour layover in Miami. So I think I am going to pack a bathing suit just in case. Also, I don't know if I've talked about my Kindle on here yet, but I got a Kindle like a month ago and it has been amazing traveling with that thing. I absolutely love it. It's so small and lightweight. So it's easy to pack around a lot easier than packing around books. But I just got the Kindle unlimited free trial to see if I like it. So if you've got any books, that you recommend on the Kindle, please let me know. Reading on the plane is the best thing ever. It makes flights go by so fast. You all. I'm not even kidding, this is the nicest hotel room I've ever seen. My jaw has been on the floor since I walked in. So let me show you. So you walk in, here's the door, and then we've got a fridge here. Here's the bathroom. We have our little room for the toilet here, and then the sink. And I keep getting these showers in the middle of the room. So this is an interesting one. So there's a little light switch and a curtain comes down automatically in case you have a friend that doesn't need to see you in the shower. And then look how big this room is, first of all. So we've got this big bed right here. 
that looks like it's gonna be the coziest bed that I've ever slept in in my life. And then we've got these big sliding doors that open up to a full on living room. Big desk here, another TV. Look at this huge couch. That is the biggest couch I've ever seen in a hotel room ever. Look at the lights shining on the bed. Like it just looks like the most heavenly bed. If it is not comfortable, I'm gonna be so sad because of this presentation. Good morning. It's actually not morning. It is 2.40 p.m. I tried to sleep in as late as I could today. I woke up at like 10.30 and I was like, oh, perfect. It's 10.30. I slept in so late. And then I remembered that I didn't go to bed until after 3 a.m. Because I think we got here at like 2 a.m. It's been so gloomy and ugly and raining here in Miami. But of course, now that I'm getting ready to leave, the sun's coming out. So good for the sun. I wish that we could bid for trips based on the hotels because if we could i would bid for this trip just to stay in this hotel we've got one long flight ahead of us thankfully it's just one leg so i think it'll probably be like a six hour flight it might even be a little under six hours i'm not sure but i am a little bit bummed that we're on a 737 instead of an airbus 321 because it's gonna get so crowded back there in the galley like people want to stand up people got to go to the bathroom and at least on a 321, when you're on a long flight like that, there's that section kind of in the middle of the plane towards the back where we have an extra bathroom. And, you know, people can stand there, stretch their legs there instead of coming all the way back to the back galley. And only having those two bathrooms in the back galley is going to get crowded. But of course, we love that it's just one leg. I would much rather work a one long leg versus working, you know, a three or four leg day. I'm always so ambitious. I think that's the word I'm looking for. When I'm packing for a trip, like I've got the bathing suit, I've got the cover up, I've got clothes to wear in San Francisco tomorrow if, you know, if, if it's nice and I can go outside and walk around. I have a full workout outfit in my bag. Do you think I've left this outfit today? No. So I'm always real ambitious when I'm packing for a trip and then once I get on the trip, the ambition just leaves my body. It is now at 10.30 p.m. We just made it to San Francisco. That flight felt so long. It was six hours, six hours and three minutes, and it was bumpy just about the whole way. So normally on a flight that long, we would do two services. We would come through with the drink cart twice. I could not do that because it was so bumpy the entire time. That made it felt even longer. I'm actually really surprised at how big this hotel room is. It looks like another really comfy bed. We've got these two chairs and a little table over here and then big closet here. Bathroom is also really big. Another really nice shower. And a lot of sink space which we love. We will see if I wake up in the morning and feel like walking around and going and seeing anything. I mean, I've been here before. It's not like it's my first time here. I'm not like dying to go out in San Francisco, especially just like driving around this area. I mean, it is 1030 at night, but it just felt kind of sketchy. And I was kind of like, I don't know if I want to go walking around tomorrow. <laughs> It is about 11.30 a.m. Haven't left my room. I've been such a slam clicker on this trip. These layovers were definitely long enough to go out and play, go out and do something, explore a little bit, and I just didn't, and I don't regret it. Actually, I kind of wish that I would have gone out and just walked around or something this morning, but I think it's actually really cold here right now. Oh my gosh, it's 56 degrees. If you've never heard that term before, a slam clicker is a flight attendant term for somebody who just goes to their room, slams the door, clicks the lock, and doesn't leave until it's time to go back to work the next day. And that is me, but our van time is at 12.45, so I've got like an hour. Just one leg home today. Definitely planned on working on videos. I brought my laptop. I have so many videos that I need to catch up on. I have like wedding content. We Our wedding was July 3rd of last year, and I've got tons of like vlog content from the wedding day and leading up to the wedding. Oh, I also have my trip to Sydney with Sydney. I have not edited that yet, but I've been having some computer issues and I've just got so much stuff on my computer that I've been trying to get off of it. So I can't upload anything to my computer without taking stuff off, but I had a lot of like a lot of video clips and stuff with my sister. So I wanted to have that backed up like times three, like three different places have those videos backed up. Now that we're talking about my computer problems, let me also tell you about this one. My laptop also keeps doing this crazy thing where 
I'll start working and a button on the keyboard, like the space bar, you can't see it doing anything, but it's beeping, just going crazy, or like the return key is just going crazy. And I've just been dealing with that for like months now. And so I finally got sick of it, took it to Best Buy to get it fixed to see what they could do. I'm telling the guy at Best Buy about it and he's like, okay, let me see. And I show him the laptop. Me, Josh, and this guy at Best Buy are just watching the laptop. It's on its best behavior. It's doing nothing wrong. It's acting perfect. I was so embarrassed, first of all. It was so awkward just sitting there telling them how bad my computer's acting up. And then he's like, well, I don't see anything wrong with it. Anyways, all that to say, I've got lots of stuff to try and catch up on. It's time to pack up all the clothes that just absolutely went to waste because this is all I wore on this trip. But I was prepared. Okay, it is now 9.04 p.m. We landed at like 8 p.m. So it took that long to get everybody deplaned, get on the bus and come over to the employee lot and get in my car. Anyways, I wanted to tell y'all about this passenger. He came to the galley in the middle of the flight and he was asking about his bag, where his bag was gonna be because he's going to Buenos Aires. So I knew he was going to Buenos Aires. Somebody else had asked me about that same flight but I already looked at that flight and I knew that it was going out at 8.40. So we get everybody off the plane and it is 8.27 at this point. So I'm about to get my stuff down to leave the plane and I see him looking around on the floor with his flashlight flashlight on his phone and I was like you got to get to your flight what are you looking for did you lose something and he was looking for his headphone and it was 827 you all I mean I hope that by some miracle he made it but he just he kept looking for this airpod and we were all trying to help him look and we didn't find it I mean I told him like three different times I don't want you to miss your flight it's 830 your flight is leaving in 10 minutes that just made me so stressed out. I was way more stressed out than he was. 